Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome to an awesome episode of Bloons Tower Defense 5. In today's episode, I decided to do a little bit of a challenge for myself when I did Odyssey mode. And instead of just doing normal Odyssey mode or doing it like last time where I had the one type of tower challenge, this time around, we're going to do something that was heavily, heavily requested by all of you out there, where I'm going to try and beat all three of these Odyssey missions all of them, using only one of each type of tower. Now, I don't have to use every type of tower, but if I do use one, like, for instance, let's say I use the Monkey Apprentice right here, that's all I can use for Monkey Apprentices. And I have to go through and try and pick out the best of the best towers afterward as well. So, as you can imagine, it gets more and more difficult over time, because you, you kind of, you, only allowing one type of tower, like, I usually use, like, three or four Monkey Apprentices, and, you know, sometimes I'll use, like, two Glue Gunners, and... Now I can only use one. So, it's a pretty fun challenge we're doing. Wish me luck, everybody. It's it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. But I think we'll be able to pull through something here. I, you know, I believe in us. We're crazy Bacchus, all of us out there. I know we could do some crazy things. There we go. A little lightning bolt going on. And now we can keep on uh, clicking through the rest of these. So, let's do Glue Gunner next for sure. Uh, and, oh my gosh, this is actually... This is working pretty well. I forget sometimes how easy it is the Monkey Apprentice. On this particular map, actually, with the Monkey Apprentice, you could very well just put one or two of them, at, like, fully leveled up, and you'd probably be fine. It's pretty cool how that works, but most levels aren't so nice, so that's just uh, one of those things, you know? All right, next I'm going to get the Sniper, because I want to get him to have the Moab uh, ability, where pretty much he can just snipe and freeze any kind of Moab balloon for, like, a very long period of time. Uh, it helps helps out a lot, trust me. So you focus him on strong, then you upgrade him all the way to the left, and you're pretty much good from there. He'll be able to do all the rest of the heavy lifting for you. Uh, and, uh, there we go. What's that? Look, that one, his next upgrade can pop through seven layers of balloon instead of four. And then after that one, finally, he's able to just shoot Moab balloons and freeze them in time because of how much damage he does. Like, it just stops him immediately. It's pretty cool. There we go. So one last one here. Oh my gosh, it's pretty crazy actually. We're we're leveling up the towers pretty quick. I think from here, instead of putting more down afterward, I'm probably going to focus on maxing him out to the left, maxing this one out to, well not maxing him out, but getting him up to the right one more time, and I'm going to get the glue splatter one right here to the right as well one more time. I think that's probably a solid plan of action, if you will. I, th I think that's good. I think that's very good. And oh, after that I might get the... I think I'm going to get the uh, the helicopter. I love the helicopter one. The helicopter one is always a ton of fun to use because he can just follow around people in pursuit mode. He's probably the most heavily requested one by all of you viewers out there. But actually, though, like everyone loves the helicopter one. Oh, my God. The glue gunner has done no damage so far. I guess it's because lead balloons haven't come in yet. He mostly has his value once the lead balloons start flowing. So I guess that kind of makes a little bit of sense. And oh, I just realized something. The sniper has two more upgrades. This next one only does 18 layers, but that's not the Moab one. For some reason, I thought in my head that that was the Moab one, and it is not the Moab one. So, we got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time to keep upgrading him. But yeah, everybody, keep commenting down below. Uh, especially, leave a like as well if you're enjoying. But comment down below with different types of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, challenges I could do for myself. Because I always love to challenge myself in this game. It's a ton of fun for me, so seeing cool challenges that you guys come up with is just the best thing in the world. So keep it up, everybody. Keep letting me know. And here we go. Oh, the fire one. The endless flames upgrade right here is so powerful, it pretty much stops everything. And wait a minute, that's super much... Super monkeys are only like 2,900. I thought super monkeys were over like three to 4,000. I guess, I think that's, maybe that's only on hard mode that they're worth like 4,100 or something. I might be getting mistaken with that. Because I was going to say, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be. All right, so the next upgrade we need is 10,000 for the sniper one, which is unreasonable right now, and we don't need that much anyway at the moment, so I'm probably going to focus on doing a bomb tower instead. The reason I want the bomb tower is because this will allow us to shoot down a Moab balloon with a click of a button, so that means one for two could be taken out in the wave 50. Uh, wave 46 is only one of them total, so that'll just be able to stop them instantly, um, so that's always good. And in the meantime as well, I mean, it's not like the bomb tower is a bad thing. But there we go, we have the upgrade right there, so I click that, insta-destroying any kind of Moab balloon that might try and come our way. Uh, and then what else should we get? Well, if I save up for... Probably like six more rounds, probably around like wave 42 or so, my sniper should have the ability to freeze them. And then from there, it's it's literally just game over. It's it's almost impossible to lose at that point, especially because that'll take them out and they'll be frozen as well. So when wave 50 rolls around, I'll be able to do that. So trust me when I say we'll be good. We'll be very good. And then, oh, we still, we haven't even used the super monkey yet. Completely forgot about that. So 
Yeah, all in all, not a bad challenge at all. I, I see, I like challenges like this, where it's just like, it's more about where you strategically place the towers and upgrade them than anything else. It has nothing to do really about like just spanning like the same tower multiple times. I think it takes a little bit more strategy to do it this way, so I enjoy it. And oh my gosh, the sniper monkey, I mean granted, not as much as the monkey apprentice, but he's not falling behind by very much at all. Actually, surprisingly enough, the sniper monkey is, I didn't realize how good he was. He is really, really good though. When he's upgraded like that. Alright, well perfect. Now let's go ahead and let's get the super monkey right there. And what is this one? Okay, so he already has the Moab ability. So we're we're kind of, we're good now. I probably don't have to reasonably do anything else upgrade wise for my towers from this point on. I still will though, just because it's good to have. But yeah, if anything I might get the sun god upgrade for the super monkey. If I get enough money for it. That one's like 14,000. If not, we'll get the robot one, the, the dual shooting robot. That one's always up. That one's a pleasant time, we'll say. We'll say that one's a good, that's, that's a good one. All right, there we go. Wow, the super monkey just completely made every other tower basically obsolete because he's able to just shoot him from so far away. And the sniper monkey slowly creeping up on the apprentice as the most useful tower. But actually, though, very slowly but surely creeping up there. And oh, you almost got it, buddy. You're 3,000 away from getting the Sun God upgrade. And there's only three rounds left to be. Or two and a half if you count this one halfway over. So two and a half rounds left. So let's hope for the best here. Uh, there we go. Sun God it is. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the money here. But it does exist. So let's do a... Uh, I could just do the helicopter. Yeah, why not? We'll do the helipad. There we go. Boom, boom. And then we'll put him into... No! Whoopsie. I accidentally sold it. Well, that was a waste of money. I upgraded him and then I sold it all. Pursuit, and then let's do, put him in pursuit mode, there you go, and have a little bit of fun there, oh, this is wave, that was wave 50, I didn't even use my Moab exploding ability, I didn't even realize that was wave, for some reason I thought that was wave 49, well, I, I mean, I don't care, we won anyway, but, whoa, is this a Christmas themed map, I've never seen this one, and the ice, is that, oh, the ice counts as an area where we can, okay, well, that's good for us, the ice counts as an area where we can put monkey submarines in, so, we're kind of set now, and then I'm gonna do Monkey Engineer. I get a lot of requests to use Monkey Engineer more often, and I just never do personally, so probably well worth it. And there we go. Now, if I get this upgrade here, Advanced Intel, now the submarine can start getting involved in the fun. Jeez. All right, all right. Well, once again, I don't have to do it this way. I'm just trying to do it so that we only use one of each tower. And I can start using the more strategic ones that I normally do. But I figure if we're going to have some fun and make a challenge for ourselves, we might as well also add in some other things like, you know, using random towers that aren't used too often and things like that. But wait, did that just say pops eight balloons at... Whoa, okay, that's actually a really good upgrade for the Monkey Engineer. Popping eight balloons at once seems like a little bit much. But, you know, if it works, it works. There we go. Can it pop through lead? Now the question is whether or not I can pop through lead. Oh, this one right here. Removes camo regen and pops lead balloons. So that's what we need if we want that to happen. But before we get that, let's get the other upgrade to the right, and then we'll be able to see if it's even necessary. There we go. 555. What's that one? Increases the sentry fire speed. No, I'd rather just be able to pop, you know, ones as soon as they pop out. So might be worth it to just do that one. Especially because that will allow us to see camo balloons as well. So why not? There we go. A little bit of foam there, not bad. And then a glue gunner as well, finally. And that'll just be the final piece of just shutdown time. Because he'll be able to corrosive glue balloon any kind of lead balloon that tries to pop through. Oh, man. This is good. This is good. Not a bad setup at all. And what's the next one? Trap captures balloons until full. Okay. Um, and can be emptied for cash. Ah, we don't really need that one yet, so I'm probably just going to leave that one alone. Uh, there we go, though. This one's fine. And then I think next on the list is definitely going to be the Bloon Chipper. I get requests for Engineer and Bloon Chipper all the time. I actually, I've been playing this game for so long. I remember like three or four years ago when those upgraded, or when those towers first came out. So they weren't always out with the game. They weren't like part of the main game. They came out later on, and I was like, you know what? I'll give them a try. What's the worst that could happen here? And I ended up really loving them. So that that was the thing that happened. All right, we're doing good there. We got that upgrade all the way. Glue splatter. We get this one ballistic missiles, I guess. I was going to say, we don't. oh, wow, wave 49, or sorry, rank 49 is when we'll be able to get that. And what does that one do? Uh, on the largest balloon on screen, destroys up to a zombie balloon in one go, or many lesser balloons. 
Oh, that's so cool. I got to get that. I've, I've never been way level 49 since I've had uh, any kind of updated game that has the monkey submarine. So for me, that's super cool to see. And we'll look at that one. So that one gets suck up lead balloons now. We're about to get it to be able to suck up uh, Moab balloons as well. So pretty much any kind of Moab balloon that tries to sneak by is doomed. Completely doomed, if I, if I may. And you know, I'm going to put this guy at the very end, right? Actually... Nah, I, I can put him like right here. Why not? Who cares? It, uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. We have such a powerful team right here. It really doesn't matter where we put these things. It's kind of, at this point, it's kind of game over already. That's the one part about easy mode is that when I say it's easy, I mean like if you place towers properly, probably by wave about 30, you should be able to just keep those towers for the rest of the game. If, if, you, if you choose to do so, it's still fun to kind of upgrade the other stuff and have a you know good time that way. But yeah, I mean, it's up to you to decide how you want to play the game. Uh, all right, here we go. And Dragon's Breath, check. What's another one? I don't. Uh, I get requests to use the Boomerang Tower a lot, and I've never really, I've never really been a huge fan of him. But you know what? Let, let's go for it. There must be a reason. Oh, and look at that. Actually, pretty soon he'll be able to get a new upgrade as well. Throws boomerangs twice as fast. That's pretty cool. We'll, we'll start looking for that one. Oh, there's one on the left side there. Too. Perfect. See, we're upgrading towers because we're using ones that we don't normally use. Isn't that? Isn't that great? Isn't that just fine? Um. I guess we could put him here. I don't really know if he has any real purpose. Oh, there we go. Well, he does have a purpose because he hasn't been fully upgraded yet either. So, perfect. See? See, we're upgrading towers now. Who else out there do we need to actually probably upgrade? Ice tower, maybe? I'll just put him at the end. I don't, I don't actually know if we need to, but... No, by the looks of it, we don't need to. But it's still good, I guess, to keep one of those at the end there. Uh, and then who else? Well, I know... Mo I Honestly, we might have all the other ones basically fully upgraded. If any, it would probably be the Dart Monkey as, like, the only other one that we don't have fully upgraded. Um, so I'll just put him, like, right here so we can just collect XP over time and, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, triple Darts or spike -a Let's do spike -a No, if he has that one, that means he probably realistically already has it. What? what? How is he able to shoot from that? Does that allow him to shoot from anywhere? He, well, he's done, he's doing damage. I have no clue why he's allowed to hit from anywhere, but apparently he has, like, near infinite range or something. I, I don't know how this works, but that's, uh, that's interesting enough, I suppose. There we go. Let's get that one up. And there we go with the super monkey in store. Jeez. Well, talk about a, uh, an overpowered team here, huh? And then that one right there, the balloon chipper can now suck up any of the Moab balloons. So that kind of makes our lives a lot easier. Anyone else? Plaza Blast. Check. How much more? Wave 44. All right, we're almost there. We're getting there, everybody. We're getting there. And nope. Come on. Good, good. Uh, might as well just get a monkey buck in here for funds. For funsies. There we go. Cannon ship. And then we'll get the one that harpoons the Moab balloons in just in case to speed up the rounds. In case we need. I don't really think we do. I wish this game had, like, a super fast forward mode. Like, this one, but, like, times three. Because at times like this where I'm just like, all right, I could probably win right now if you threw all of them at me. I'd rather just see how far along we can get. You know you know what I'm saying? I, I just wish it existed. It doesn't. But a guy can wish, can he? All right, let's see. Uh, no, we don't use that one. No monkey ace. Okay, come on. And, okay, not bad. 182. 182 is not bad at all. Doing good here. A little sip of the good luck coffee. And by the way, everybody, I'm going to be back around to live stream again tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll have some awesome live streams going. I can't wait for it personally. It's going to be a fun time for sure. And it looks like we just got an upgrade for our monkey uh, engineer that I didn't even know really existed. But apparently it does. So you know what? I'm not going to complain. And oh, look, I already got the trap right there set that'll just dispense money randomly from time to time. There we go. Level up. Hey, it looks like the tax shooter got a nice old level up. There we go. Blade shooter. Perfect. And, oh my god, that upgrade, it literally, after eating all those balloons, only gave me 16 bucks. How are you supposed to make back, like, a thousand dollars? Wasn't it, like, two or three thousand dollars for that upgrade? How is anyone supposed to make that back? All right, well, here we go. Easy mode. Check. And to start us off, then, let's do a... Ooh, what's a, what's a good one here? I kind of want to try. I kind of want to just try and start it off with a sniper and just see how far along the sniper can get us. There we go. Well, he's certainly... Wow, okay. Well, he's certainly doing a good job with these ones. There we go. You keep you keep on doing you there, sniper monkey. Keep it up, bud. Keep it up. And oh, jeez. Now things are getting a little crazy. Okay, so that might not have been the smartest idea. I probably have to start taking it a little more seriously. 
Uh, but then again, actually, with this monkey sub right here, that, that's kind of all the serious you need. The monkey sub makes things... Look, look at that. He's, he is the cheapest over... He should honestly be the most expensive tower besides a super monkey, in my opinion. He's just too powerful for early game. Because no matter what mode you're on, easy, hard, or medium, you could spawn one of them in as long as there's water around. And he's just so powerful for... Two, what was he? 230? 285. It's like, come on, really? Really? All right. Now, wow. Well... The two of these guys could probably last a lifetime just hanging out together. That's good. 1870 on there. What do we got here? Advanced. I see. There's no point in getting the advanced intel just yet. There really isn't, unfortunately. Uh, might do the balloon chipper. Why not? We'll have some balloon chipper fun. Balloon chipper's always. It's good, though. Look at that. Yeah, balloon chipper never hurt anybody. There we go. Oh, my God. He's just eating him. He's literally just eating him before this guy can even really do anything about it. And then let's get the lead balloon one. So now lead balloons we can stop. We could stop everyone, and actually, he, the sniper could take out camo balloons for us as well. So, realistically speaking, we, we kind of got it on lock. I'll probably do an apprentice next just to make sure the camo balloons can't get past. I'm more so just happy that the balloon chipper could take out lead balloons for us and ceramic balloons, but yeah. And oh, this one decreases the shred time. That's always a good upgrade. I'm sure to get that one in a second. Although, at the rate at which she's eating them, I don't even know if he needs that. It'll still be good to have, though. Come on. Keep on feeding through. You got this. Yeah, there we go. Monkey Apprentice time. Check. Let's do there. Intense magic. Time to upgrade to a fireball one. Check. What else is there? Uh, I could do the camo one. Or I could do a lightning bolt. That works too. And then, let's see, there's mortars. A couple other ones. Not bad, not bad. All right, lightning bolt. Check. Check on those. Monkey Buccaneer time, and we'll put it down, eh, we can put it down in the backfield, we'll, we'll put him down like right about here, Monkey Buccaneer. Monkey Buccaneers are, they'll forever be one of my favorite towers, even if I don't use them as much anymore as I used to when I first started the game, they'll forever be one of my favorite ones, just for that reason. I used to use these things so much, I, had, I would come up with strategies where I could just use those and get to wave like 70 or 80 on hard mode, I had the coolest strategies when I first started playing this game. I still do, but, you know, I, I've adapted them over time. So they're not as, I guess, crazy as they used to be. But, but yeah, they, they work better. So that's always good. All right, here we go. We're going to get this guy after us. Everyone always requests the helicopter. So it's literally like right now, I'm just using all the towers everyone always requests. So, but that's fine. There we go, big ejects. And, oh, this guy could shoot camo balloons too? No way. And that's they detect them? Oh, it detects them. That probably makes it so every other tower can hit them as well. That's really useful. All right, let's do advanced intel on that one. There we go. Then we'll use ballistic missile. And start firing away, Palio. Start firing away. And then we'll throw a... I guess a spike factory right here. Never hurt anybody, right? We'll just get one of these online. Just as like a last resort in case anybody gets any big ideas and starts making it past them. Even though I doubt they'll be able to. They're not going to make it past the Baca's line of defense. And oh my gosh, the helicopter just... Who's killing all? Oh, I thought someone was killing all the ones back there. I'm like, who's doing all this? Oh, yeah, it's basically all the helicopter and the sniper. And, oh, never mind. The monkey subs missiles. I keep forgetting how powerful those missiles are sometimes. Those missiles are very good. Uh, let's do a... Yeah, we'll shred them that way. We'll do the old shredder rune here. There we go. Spiked ball. And then for this one right here, I could upgrade it to the harpoon one. Although in the past, we haven't even used it at all because it just kind of... Yeah, we literally haven't even used it once yet, so I guess it probably won't come in handy. But you know what? We'll, yeah, we'll hold off on it. Because every time we go to use it, it just turns out that there's no point in using it at all. Because it literally pops them before they even get on screen. So, there we go. And we'll do a nice little camo thingy right there. So we can spot any camo balloons that may or may not try and slip through. Oh, we do want this one to have Moab Shredder, though. That is actually important for that one. Uh, the other ones, though, eh, any other Moab popping abilities are just kind of a waste of money at this point. But there we go. We got that one going. And let's see what we can do here. And let's do a mortar tower. And let's put it down right there. Come on. Let's see. How can I... Why can I not target where he's shooting? How, how do I target what... He's shooting the ground. Set target. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm like, that is not where I'd like him to be firing. Uh, let's, wow, oh, I forgot sometimes how powerful the mortar is. The mortar tower is actually pretty decent. I mean, granted, he's not aimed at anything at the moment, but 
If we reset where his target is, like right there, he'll probably start doing a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Look at how quickly he's he's tacking on the damage. It's because his abilities, some of them like light them on fire, which is kind of like corrosive glue from your glue gunner. Let us do consistent damage over time. Uh, and other ones as well are just like explosive damage. will take off lead balloon tops and things like that. So they're really, they're really overpowered if you ask me. There we go. I just wasted almost all my money on getting this super monkey. But, you know, that's fine. That works, too. There we go. Also, I think the fully upgraded Robo Monkey one is actually a, uh... I, I think it's, like, overpowered mode or overdrive mode. And he just starts shooting crazily everywhere. Could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. There we go. Come on. And... Boom! Shakalaka! Okay, wave 46. Only three more to go. Three more. Oh, we got a new Bloom Chipper upgrade. All right, there we go. Nice, nice. But by the looks of it, everybody, I'd be willing to say that I think we probably beat this mode, the Odyssey mode, using only one of each tower. A simple challenge. You guys requested it, though, and hopefully I did very good at it. I think so. I didn't let a single balloon through at all, so pretty sure I did an all right job. But uh, let me know what you think if I did a good job or not down below in the comment section. And, of course, keep letting me know as well what types of challenges we should give for ourselves in the future. That real cripple the Moab balloon and focus him on strong... Now we're talking. There we go. So as the last wave comes through, once again, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow for some awesome live streams. In the meantime, have a fantastic Saturday night.